All right, ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to check out yet another problem, and this problem is an SAT math problem. Now, today's function is x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 1. Now, we have to decide whether this function has some asymptotes or not, all right? Now, of course, any function is going to have some vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Now, how do we find the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of a function? Well, as you can see, I've broken down the function's numerator into x minus 2 times x plus 2 and denominator into x minus minus 1 and x plus 1. Now what we're going to do is just go ahead and find, first and foremost, the vertical asymptotes. How do we find a vertical asymptote, folks? You're probably wondering. Well, a vertical asymptote exists if the function is undefined. And when is the function undefined? This bus is blocking me. A function is undefined when the denominator is 0, aka when x is equal to plus minus 1 for this function. Now how do we find the horizontal asymptotes? The horizontal asymptote of a function is given by taking its limit as x approaches infinity now how do we take the limit of this function as x approaches infinity well simply do a limit as x approaches infinity of x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 1 now when you're taking a limit like this it's important you only pay attention to the highest degree terms in this case those terms are x squared over x squared and of course we all know that's equal to 1 all right folks that's a single horizontal asymptote and these are the two vertical asymptotes of this function y is equal to x squared minus 4 over x squared minus 1. Thanks for watching. Sponsored by Brilliant.org.